So, hello to my fellow millennials and mga feeling millennials. So, as promised, no, dun sa isa sa mga video ko, today we will be discussing ano nga ba yung Pro Life UK Investments. More specifically, yung bagong funds na nilaunch ni Pro Life, which is yung Equity Index Tracker, UITF. So, again, my name is Harold Q. Gordon. I'm the Millennial Wealth Planner. And this will take only a few minutes, no? ilang slides lang naman to. So, this will be our presentation outline. We will be discussing ano nga bang UITF, uh, ano yung Kubler-Ross change curve, uh, market cycle and psychology, what can we learn from the previous crashes, and three new investments ni ProLife UK Investment, and why equity index tracker, at ano ba yung risk-reward analysis ni MD MWP. Bakit yun yung kinuha ko personally, kumuha ko ng plan na to. Okay, so let's start sa what is a UITF. Okay, according to the Banko Central ng Pilipinas, doon sa circular number 4407 last 2004, uh, basically, these are uh, open-ended pool trust funds. So, matagal na talaga ang UITF. Normally, makikita nyo ang UITF sa banko. Pero, ProLife UK is one of the first, if not the first, no, na naisuhan ng license to uh, offer uh, trust funds. So, basically, Itong pooled funds na to, naka-invest siya sa particular instruments. It can be stocks, it can be bonds. Uh, basta liquid and easily tradable. Okay? Uh, so, yun. Basically, uh, for a UITF, for example, gusto mong bumili ng maraming stocks, like 100 stocks o 20 stocks. Uh, pag ikaw lang kasi mag-isa, retail, hindi kasi yung 10,000 pesos. Kasi baka limang stock lang yan ng Meralco o sampung stock lang yan ng Meralco. Pero kung gusto mong bumili ng Meralco, ng BPI, ng SM, ng Jollibee, sa 10,000 pesos, nandun na siya, pinagsama-sama na siya. So, yun. Yun ang basic, uh, basic uh, definition ng UITF. Oh, before I proceed nga pala, I just want to tell everyone na uh, this presentation is based on my own opinions. Hindi siya nagre-reflect na kung anong company o kung, na, kung anong organization. Uh, caveat M. Torden, no, I want you to research. Uh, don't, uh, lahat na sinasabi ko, kumbaga, i-validate nyo rin para okay tayo. Uh, lahat ng ito, opinions lang, and base ito dun sa ating pag-aaral, base ito sa mga webinars na intindihan natin, and base din ito dun sa experience natin no, as, a, as the Millennial Wealth Planner. Okay, so let's continue. So, how are you? Gusto kong kamustahin kayo. Uh, now is, uh, ano ba ngayon, May 14. Uh, tomorrow, tapos na yung ECQ. Uh, last day tomorrow. After nito, eh, ECQ na tayo. Uh, kamusta kayo dun sa process? So, gusto kong ipakita tong Cobbler-Ross. Hindi ko lang kung Cobbler o Cobbler. Cobbler-Ross change curve. Basically, isa tong uh, model sa psychology wherein sinasabi niya yung pinagdadaanan ng isang tao when we are going uh, through a change, a crisis, no? Uh, sa simula, nagsisimula ito sa denial, and then frustration, depression, experiment, decision, integration. So basically, kung dumaan tayo doon sa, sa COVID-19, kung ilalagay natin yung sitwasyon natin, di ba nandun yung denial? Hindi, okay lang yan. Hindi yan, hindi yan delikado or parang virus lang yan. Hanggang nag-lockdown, hindi, okay lang to. Ah, kaya natin to. Tapos naiinis na tayo. Ano ba nangyayari? Bakit walang mass testing kung ano-ano pa? Hindi, nade-depress tayo. Hopefully, uh, doon sa denial, frustration, and depression, na kung saan nandun yung anger and fear, ito, itong, itong, itong side na to, naka-move on na tayo. Nandun na tayo sa exploration, nandun na tayo sa acceptance, nandun na tayo sa we want to integrate, we want to adapt, uh, nandun na ta wala na tayo sa fear zone, nandun na tayo sa learning at saka growth zone. So, bakit ko to pinakita? Pinakita ko to kasi ganyan din yung stock market, ganyan din yung uh, market cycle at saka market psychology. Uh, kung makikita nyo, during 2018, uh, 2016, di ba, parang ah, lahat tayo optimistic. Magiging okay yung market yan. Optimistic, excited. Tumaas yung market, 2018. That's one of the highs, no? And then, bumaba ng konti, pero sabi natin, hindi, tataas ulit yan. Pero because of this COVID-19, nagkaroon ng anxiety. Hala, hanggang kailan to? And, Yun nga, nung nag-lockdown, dahil nga everyone doesn't know anong mangyayari, uh, naano tayo ng fear, na-overcome ng fear, nagkaroon ng panic, bumagsak. Bumagsak ngayon yung market from 
5,000 level, mga 5, 6, 6,000, bumagsak siya ng 4, 7, 4, 6, 4,000 level. Kung di ako nakakamali, bumaba pa yun ng uh, halos mag-4,000 na. Pero hindi naman siya nag-close na sa level na yun. Anong, anong point? Nandun tayo, nandito tayo ngayon sa area na to. Uh, pero sa psychology ng pag invest ito yung maximum financial opportunity. Kasi everyone is uh, selling, so yung prices bumaba. If we go in here, dito sa level na to, pag umangat siya, we get the the highest, kumbaga highest return. So as of now, di ba, merong iba na depressed, uh, katulad nga ng sa COVID-19, sabi na ito, bataas nga daw yung incidences ng depression, and yung market ganun din, nandito tayo sa level na to. So gusto ko lang ipakita, na again, the market goes into cycle. Later, papakita ko ano ba yung mga past crashes, uh, past uh, crisis na nangyari. Pero umangat yung market. Okay? Ito uh, yung PSEI, tsaka yung mga crisis, o yung plural na crisis before. So, kung makikita nyo, ng Asian financial crisis, this is 1998. Uh, after a year, nag-grow ang PSEI ng 5%. Okay? Noong 9-11 attack, after a year, though negative 13, pero kung makikita nyo, from 2000, kaya ba, umano yun, dito sa 2000 level, uh, after mga 8 years, no, 8, 5, 5 to 8 years, nag-recover yung market. Nung SARS, nagkaroon ng SARS, di ba, 2003, if I'm not mistaken, pero nakarecover after mga 2000, sabihin natin, 3 to 4 years. Uh, nung nagkaroon ng great financial crisis nung sa real estate bubble 2007 to 2009 pero nagkaroon ng effect talaga sa atin 2009 nag-grow yung market 63% now nandun din tayo sa crisis na to uh, which is COVID-19 ayan o bumagsak siya 4, 7, 7, 8 from around dito sa level na yan eh. uh, nung bumagsak siya ngayon ang tanong will it go up ba? will it continue going down? pero what we are saying is based on the past uh performances o doon sa history, nagre-recover din siya. Might not be a year, it might take us 3 to 5 years, pero it will definitely recover. And we just need to uh, take into consideration, during this time, hindi pa tayo ganun ka high-tech, no? wala pa tayo sa investment grade, hindi pa ganun uh, resilient uh, technology-wise, hindi pa tayo investment grade. So, baka most likely, mas, uh, mas stronger tayo and we can recover hopefully faster. Pero again, uh, no one can really predict the future. No? Kung kaya lang natin i-predict, di sobrang yaman na natin. Pero yun, uh, we're just saying na ito yung past performances. So, uh, ito yung pwede natin tignan no? Nung, yung China and the Hong Kong stock market during the SARS pandemic. Uh, actually, hindi pandemic to. Eh. Sa kanila lang to, eh, no? outbreak. Nung SARS outbreak. Uh, during the SARS outbreak, nung nag-start siya, November 2002 to April 2003, there's this rising uncertainty, pababa yung market. Uh, ano lang to ah, sorry, uh, typo. Nung April to May 2013, nag-stabilize yung market. And nung na-escalate na siya, naka medyo nawala na yung SARS, umangat ulit yung market. Siyempre, it's different now because of COVID-19. Uh, wala tayong vaccine. Hindi pa natin alam kung kailan. Pero definitely, pag nagkaroon na tayo ng vaccine, nagkaroon na ng cure, most likely, the the market will recover. And the question is, kailan ka papasok? Papasok ka ba now na down siya? O papasok ka during recovery? Kailan nga ba ang recovery? So, hopefully, based on this presentation, magkakaroon tayo ng konting kahit pa paano gut feel. Uh, magkakaroon tayo ng parang uh, ma- mas intelligent guess. Uh, when is the best time to na pumasok ulit sa market. Ito rin yung uh, example ng GDP versus the Philippine crisis. So, basically, GDP is the production of the country. Uh, may mga composition yan, like cons- consumption, government spending, uh, export minus import, investments, lahat yun nandun. So, we can see during the debt moratorium no 1984, hindi negative 7.3 ang uh, GDP natin. Hindi natin alam, magde-default na ba tayo? Ang mangyayari sa Pilipinas, lulubog na tayo sa utang. Pero we were able to recover. 1991 power crisis, we were also able to recover from, kung 1991, this is 1989, no? bumagsak siya, 1990, 1991, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5 years, naka-recover. 
1998, Asian Financial Crisis. Ito, dito tayo simula, 5.8. So, 1, 2, 2 years, naka-recover. 2001 attack, 1, 2, 3, naka-recover, 3 years. 2009 Financial Crisis, tsaka yung 2001 Oil Rise Shock. From 2009, 2007, bumagsak, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 to 5 years. The question is, ngayong COVID-19, 2020, bumaba yung GDP natin, Q1, no? sabi nyo, sa 0.2%. So, nandito tayo sa level na to. Ilang years kaya magre-recover? Sabihin na natin, uh, based on this, eh, 3 to 4, sabihin natin 5, at, at most, 5 years. No? Pero again, hindi natin talaga alam. Pero given the resilience of the Filipino people, and hopefully lahat tayo kaya natin to, and yun, hopefully ma- makarecover tayo fast, uh, mas mabilis, faster. Pero worst case scenario, sabihin natin 10 years, 5 years, uh, can we recover? I think yes, magre-recover pa rin tayo. Okay? So, because of that, True Life UK investment, despite this down market, and despite this COVID-19, nag sila last week ng tatlong funds. First is the True Invest PH Equity Index Tracker Fund, kung saan pinafollow lang niya yung PSEI, o yung Philippine Stock Exchange Index. Dito naman sa dynamic equity, basically may leeway yung fund manager to invest beyond the 30 stocks ng index and to trade, uh, may freedom sila to trade other stocks. And because of this also, may mga tao kasi na hindi gusto ko mag-invest sa US o wala akong kakayahan pumuntang US o sa ibang bansa pero gusto kong magkaroon ng USD, uh, mag-diversify na US dollar uh, investment. So we also uh, released this fund, which is invested in the USD Intermediate uh, bond, Bonds. So yan yun. Pero for now, sabi ng, na nagkaroon tayo ng uh, press release no last May 12, which is two days ago, sabi ng GMA News, pwede nyo rin tong i-research, meron na rin to sa Business Mirror and Inquirer, Pro-Life UK Investments Optimistic on UITF Products Despite COVID-19. According to Director uh, Director Lee Longa, sabi niyo, the launch of our new funds is in line with our mission to help Filipinos achieve their financial goals through tailored and best-in-class wealth solutions. As the Millennial Wealth Planner, this is also part of my advocacy. Uh, dun sa mga previous uh, videos ko, sinabi ko nga na hindi naman talaga kikita dito ang, ang isang certified investment advisor lalo na kung minimum lang kukunin natin. Dahil ang um, 10,000, kung di ako nagkakamali, nasa mga 50 pesos lang yung fee. Mas mahal pa kung nagkape. Mas mahal pa pag pinadala sa yung policy fee ay yung policy booklet. No? Pag siner- ay yung investment booklet pala, hindi policy booklet. Mas mahal pa yung pag pinagrab. Pero the goal here, as the Millennial Wealth Planner, is for my fellow millennials to take advantage of this opportunity. Uh, katulad natin na middle class Hopefully, umangat tayo kahit pa paano, no? Uh, for as low as 10,000. Later, discuss natin yan. And sabi ng ating president ng Pro-Life UK, na si CEO Antonio De Rosas, sabi niya, uh, this is the right time for investors in the capital market since prices are cheaper and depressed. Kung naalala nyo, yung market psychology kanina, natin tayo sa depression, di ba? And if nasa depress ka, ano pa, anong pupunta ng market? From down, aakit siya ulit. Sabi, ni, sabi ng CEO, no, uh, that when the COVID-19 crisis is over, there is a potential for the market to go up and poses an opportunity for those who went in and bought positions at a cheaper prices to earn much more. So basically, tayo, syempre, I really don't offer products na wala tayo doon, no? walang skin in the game. Uh, isa tayo sa mga unang nag-invest dito sa Equity Index Tracker Fund. Bakit Equity Index Tracker Fund? For me, bakit Equity Index? Kasi I can easily check kung kamusta yung galaw ng index. Kung baga, check ko lang sa Investagram o check ko lang PSEI, alam ko na kung ano yung down-up ng market. Hindi ka tulad pag-dynamic, though okay din yun kasi higher return, pero hindi ko alam paano ginagawa law ng fund manager yung yung pera o yung anong stocks yung binibili. Though, syempre, prudent ang pro life no when they co- when it comes to investing pero for me personally mas gusto ko kahit paano may control ako nakikita ko kung paano and it's it is much safer 
if titignan natin yung return ng index uh, since inception, around mga 7 to 8 percent yan. So, okay na ako doon. Okay na ako sa 7 to 8 percent. How much ang minimum to open? Ito yung sinasabi ko, 10,000 pesos lang ang minimum to open. 10,000 ang minimum para mag-withdraw. 10,000 ang minimum pag nag-add ka. Uh, yun. Uh, ang holding period nito, 30 days lang. Before kasi, may mga clients out tatanong, oh, ay, gusto ko yung mga single pay investment ni, ni ProLife. Before, ang single pay namin, yung may VUN, the minimum is 100,000. Pero now, we are given an opportunity to invest for as low as 10,000 pesos. And before, yung VUN na yon na single pay, ang holding period is 5 years. Here, ang holding period is just 30 days. So, ibig sabihin, kung bumili ako ngayon, sabihin natin yung price 5,000, yung index, tapos nag 6,000. After 30 days, gusto kong kunin, kumita na siya. Pero again, caveat, pwedeng 5,000, bumili ka ngayon, nag 4,000 negative, na sa'yo na yun, kukukunin mo hindi. Pero nandun yung role nung uh, CIA mo o ng Certified Investment Advisor mo, how do we strategize with this? No? Yun. The trust fee is just 1% per year, and for that 1%, napakalit lang yan, di ba? 1% for one year na. So, anin benefits? Bakit kailangan natin, bakit better na kumuha? Uh, personally, if you are into investing at magaling ka na talaga mag-invest, I would suggest na okay din. Go with the uh, uh, retail, no? Mag-open ka sa COL Financial, mag-open ka sa BDO Nomura, BPI Trade, and invest in trade, no? Invest in single stocks. Pero hindi kasi lahat ganun, eh. Hindi lahat may time na mag-trade sa stock market. So, yung iba din, gusto nila, okay, mag-trade ako, meron akong trading fund, pero meron akong investment fund. So, doon sa mga tao, sabi ko nga, if yung expertise mo is business, doon talaga tayo kumukuha ng pera. Expertise mo is sa corporate, marketing, sales, bakit natin pipilitin na maging expert tayo sa finance kung hindi talaga yun yung expertise natin? Ang maganda lang dito sa UITF is it's an alternative investment. It's not, hindi ko sinasabing huwag ka matrade, hindi ko sinasabing na lahat ng pera lagay mo dito, pero it can supplement, complement your your portfolio. Second is liquidity. Ibig sabihin, holding period. No holding period for money market funds, pero for equity index, tracker, nasa 30 days. So, 30 days lang. Parang nag-ano ka lang, uh, nag-time deposit. May active and expert fund management. Uh, one of the best ang fund managers natin. Uh, diversify. Again, nakakabili ka ng iba't ibang stocks for only 10,000 pesos. Transparency. You can, uh, we are regulated by the Banko Central, itong UITF natin. And there's a dedicated certified investment advisor uh, and investment consultant. Ang pinagkaiba nito, no, uh, may mga friends tayo na nag-invest sa banko ng UITF. Pero sabi nila, kanina ko hingi ng advice or hindi na ako binalikan ng investment advisor doon. Bakit? Kasi, sorry, may mga friends ako sa bank, pero kung hindi ka naka tawag dito, naka-private banking o wala kang minimum dyan na 5 million, wala naman talaga naka-dedicate sa'yo na advisor. Unless na, yun nga, malaki yung deposit na meron ka. Pero for us na retail, tayong maliliit lang, na tayong ordinary middle class na nagtatrabaho, na gustong magkaroon ng, kumbaga, opportunity na makapag-invest, for me, ito yung kahit paano, kahit 10,000 pesos, meron kang tao na sa tingin mo, katiwa-tiwala, na pwede mong tanungan no, about uh, about personal finance. At isa ako doon, uh, if you want to, uh, if you want me to be your uh, certified investment advisor. So, yun. Malapit na tayo matapos. So, ito yung parang risk-reward na analysis ni Millennial Wealth Planner. No? Uh, I check this doon sa Investagram. Kanina ko lang ito ginawa, itong 5.28pm, May 14, 2020. nag nag-end ang index ng 5654.70. Last, uh, itong last na sobrang taas natin, which is 9,040, uh, weekly chart to, weekly chart, that last January 29, 2018 to. Ito yung week ng January 29, 2018. Ibig sabihin, yung upside niya, kung nandito tayo, sabihin natin, based on, hindi ko sinasabing aangat yan kagad, hindi ko rin sinasabing yan yung aangatan yan, pero ang sinasabi natin, kung based dun sa previous na analysis natin, na after, sabi natin, five years bago mag-recover yung market, pag pumasok daw tayo ngayon, uh, in the next five years, more or less, ito yung growth natin. 
assumption lang to ah. So again, validate this. This is not guaranteed. Uh, this is not uh, ano, this is not a solicitation for you to buy. It is just an opinion. And yun lang, opinion lang siya, no. Pero if you look uh, dun sa low which is last March 19, ito yung week ng March 23 nung bumagsak yung market. Uh, kung papasok ka ngayon, bumagsak yung market, may negative 20.25 ka. Pwede pa yung bumaba, pero as of now, ito yung titignan natin. Ibig sabihin yung risk-reward ratio natin is 20.25 versus 59.87. So sabihin natin 1 is to 3. Tataya ako ng isa, willing akong masunog yung isa, pero pag nanalo naman ako, times 3 yung equivalent niya. Parang ganun lang. Uh, yun. So, again, uh, this is for illustration purposes only. Nasa'yo pa rin yan if you want to invest or not. Uh, research. Research also. Pero for me, ito yung ginawa ko. Bakit ako nagpasok? Kasi for me, 1 is to 3 yung risk-reward ratio niya. And wala naman akong 10 million na ipapasok kaga dito. At happy ako kung 5 years pa to mag-recover. Bakit? Ibig sabihin kasi every month kung magpapasok ako ng 10,000 pesos dito. Every month. O sabihin natin, every quarter, 10,000 pesos per month. Ibig sabihin, nakakapag-accumulate ako. It gives us ordinary, hardworking, middle class, millennials to accumulate money. And hopefully, pag sobrang laki ng accumulation mo at pumalo yung pataas, doon, yun yung masaya. Uh, and by that time, learning din natin, no? we will be doing asset allocation. Pag sabihin na natin, example lang, by the next, in the next five years, nakaipon ka dyan ng 1 million pesos. Kasi nag-double. Sabi natin nag-double. 500,000 lang talaga investment mo, tapos naging 1 million siya. Yung 500,000, pwede natin iwan dyan. Yung another 500,000, lilipat natin sa mas safer na fund. O depende dun sa financial goals mo. Kaya nga sinasabi natin palagi, personal, uh, financial planning is personal finance is personal. Uh, iba't iba siya sa bawat tao. Kasi merong iba na talagang aggressive, merong iba moderate, meron iba yung objective nila is more on the protection para sa pamilya nila. Uh, meron naman yung iba na parang, hindi, kailangan wealth accumulation, willing ako to take the risk. So, as a financial advisor, as the millennial wealth planner, yun yung role natin, no? to guide, to give objective advice. Again, sabi ko, uh, if the product, if we cannot really offer a product, nagre-refer ako sa iba that can offer that. Kasi objective naman natin is to help our uh, fellow millennials, our clients. So, again, we can do Financial planning online, mas maganda nga ngayon kasi, di ba, hindi masyadong, hindi nakaka-intimidate. Alam mo yun, di ba, minsan pag makikipag-meet ka, napipressure ako bumili. Pero here, we can, you can always say no. And it's easy for us kasi kung nalulungkot ka rin sa bahay, you need someone to talk with, nandito lang si Millennial Wealth Planner. And because of technology, hindi tayo mahahassle sa traffic, sa init, at kung ano na pa. Hopefully, meron akong value na share sa inyo. If okay to, please uh, like yung video and share it. And again, praying for everyone's safety. Hopefully, maging okay na yung Philippines. Uh, Pag-pray natin, not only uh, the physical healing, but also the emotional, the psychological, the social, and the spiritual healing. God bless everyone and uh, have a great life. No, Have a great life. So, bye-bye.